spoke with a local physician on this new development on how COVID-19 is impacting children. Good evening. New research on the coronavirus from China shows that it could possibly live in semen even after men have started to recover, leaving the question, can the virus be transmitted sexually? And we're also learning new information on a syndrome that children are showing after either having the virus or being around someone who does. Dr. William Baker of Centric Health is a local physician in our community and is giving further insight on the potential concerns that many of his colleagues across the world are discussing regarding the COVID-19 virus. Chinese researchers of Shang Chu Municipal Hospital have found evidence that the virus could possibly live in semen of COVID survivors. And six had the COVID-19 virus in the semen without having any underlying uh, disease. Uh, of the genital urinary system. Dr. Baker shares that this now raises the question if COVID-19 one day could be considered a sexually transmitted disease. Likely they feel they're fine and yet there are vi viable COVID-19 viruses in their semen uh, such it was sexual activity it may be transmitted to someone else. Of course that's you know by abstinence and condoms and, and so on. Uh, that's uh, something that could be prevented if we knew that that was the case, but we don't know that yet. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released a health advisory on May 14th, alerting healthcare providers about multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, or better known as MIS-C, which the CDC defines as a condition where different body parts can be inflamed, including the heart, lungs, brain, and other organs. Many children with Miss C had the virus that causes COVID-19 or had been around someone with COVID. I understand that one child has died, but that this syndrome is treatable. Um, and um, the kids who get sick, they're treatable with IV fluids and some of them have needed respiratory support with a ventilator. Um, it's an acute inflammatory response and children do respond to the same sorts of potent anti-inflammatories uh, drugs that we use for other conditions. Dr. Baker says there are particular symptoms that parents need to look out for. Fever and a skin rash, red oftentimes uh, swollen eyes, uh, the conjunctiva of the eyes may swell and they'll be red. Children may complain of abdominal pain and they may appear confused or lethargic. According to the Kern County Public Health Department's COVID-19 tracker, there are a total of 156 cases of individuals between the ages of 0 to 17 who have tested positive for COVID-19. But there is no indication on the tracker if children in our area have missed C. I understand the total number of cases is only somewhere around 100. So it is a rare syndrome. And as you properly pointed out earlier, uh, we should reassure parents that this is a rare, well, a very serious, it is a rare syndrome. And for more information on these studies mentioned and those links, be sure to go to our website, turn to 23.com. For now in Bakersfield, Leslie Gooden, 23BC News, connecting you.